The Video Studio Organizer is where you store and manage your content during the editing step. The organizer uses thumbnails to display your media. You can change your thumbnail size by sliding the thumbnail sl size slider. You can also arrange your view in either a thumbnail or a list view. To display file types, you can select the video, photo, and audio icons. This will sort the type of content you want displayed. To make your own libraries, open the library window. By default, there is one library. To add a new library, click the plus sign and enter a library name. You can drag from one library to another. To import from your computer, click the browse button. A Windows Explorer panel will open, and from this panel you can navigate, then drag your content into the library. Next to the library are the editing tabs. There are five tabs. The library tab, the transition tab, the title tab, the graphic tab, and the effects tab. The transition tab displays the transitions you can use to place between clips in your timeline. When this tab opens, a My Favorites category displays. By clicking on the drop-down list, you can select a number of different styles. To display all your transitions, select All. You can also right-click on a transition and have it moved to the My Favorites area. The Title tab displays the title templates you can use in your production. Again, there is a My Favorites category. In the Graphics tab, there are four graphic categories. Color, which displays a color clip. Object, which displays a variety of small graphic objects. A frame. And flash animation. All of the graphic elements can be dragged into the timeline. Finally, the Effects tab. This is where you will find video effects for your clips and photos. There are a wide variety of effects which can be dragged and dropped onto your clips.